Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, myself, Dia Pushkarna, and I am very pleased to welcome you all on the webinar of the topic Thermal Imaging Camera and its Application. First of all, let us start with the brief introduction of our company. Our parent company is Pyrotech, which is formed in 1976. It is divided into three parts. First is Panel Division. The second one is Thermal and Cable Division, and the third one is Electronic Division. Uh, we, as a part of Thermal and Cable Division, are further divided into many sub companies. Uh, uh, the main company is uh, Tamsin, uh, which is in the field of cable and thermal solutions. Uh, the next one is Marathon Heaters, which is in the heating element manufacturer. Uh, AST, which is known as Accurate Sensing Technologies, in the field of uh, infrared non-contact pyrometers. Accurate as accurate optoelectronics. We are in the field of thermal imaging cameras. Uh, these are uh, the further uh, extensions of our company. Tamsin's GmbH in Germany, TT Tamsin's Asia Jaya in Indonesia, and Tamsin's Poland. Moving further, this is our Pyrotech business areas of 2024. Uh, with Pyrotech Panel Division has 29% of share, Tamsin's with 57%, and PPL Lighting with 14%. This, this is the Tempsons business area of uh, year 2024 with temperature sensors with 48% of share revenue, cable division with 34% and heating solutions with 18%. Uh, this is the vision of our company. Uh, we are one of the world's largest manufacturers in thermal and cable divisions and we also lead, uh, want to lead the thermal and cable industry with passion, innovation, excellence and reliability. This is the brief uh, uh, introduction of our company. We have more than 800 employees with sales in over 75 countries around the globe with five global locations and 12 patents awarded with 55 million US dollar sales and over 6,500 customers. We have more than 40 years experience. These are the revenues generated by market area by Tamsin. Uh, in India, we have 61%. In Asia Pacific region, 13%. In Africa region, it is 5%. In Europe, 15%. In North America and South America, 4% and 2% respectively. These are our plants in India. With, uh, first one is temperature sensor, uh, second heaters and pyrometers, uh, third is thermobiles and furnaces, fourth for cable and MI cable, and the four, uh, fifth one is PVC cable div division. These are our plants outside India with Germany, Indonesia, and UAE. Uh, Germany established in 2012, Indonesia in 2017, and UAE uh, just now, 2023. These are some of the certificates of our company, ATEC, ISO, NABL, ISI, etc. These are some of our key customers, such as Tata Steel, NTPC, ONGC, Thermax, Tata Steel. We are, have a vast business area in oil and gas and etc. Moving further, we will just discuss, discuss about the product ranges of our company. The temperature sensor. These are the non contact temperature sensors such as thermocouple, resistant temperature detector, RTDs, thermoval and accessories gauges, infrared pyrometers, thermal imager, temperature calibrators, and furnace cameras. The next one is thermocouple and nickel conductor, fiber temperature sensor, wireless temperature sensor, thermal profiling system and data logger, heat flux sensors, non-invasive temperature sensors, and other instruments also. Moving further, these are our cables. We have thermocouple and RTD cables, high temperature cables, special type cables, MI cable, mineral insulated metal shepherd cable, instrumentation signal cables, LV control and power cable up to 1.1 kilovolts, lead wires and hookup wire. Moving further to our heating solution. Uh, we have many types of heating solutions such as cartridge heaters, band heaters, flexible heaters tubular heaters and uh, heater alloys, heater, heating cables and mats, etc. These are 
सर्विस इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय अस दिस इज टेंपरेचर कैलिब्रेशन वी हैव आवर लैब्स इन उदयपुर बड़ौदा बेंगलोर एंड जकार्ता इंडोनेशिया अब वी हैव कंपैरिजन कैलिब्रेशन रेंजेस ऑफ माइनस 196 टू 1700 डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर कॉन्टैक्ट सेंसर एंड माइनस 50 टू 3000 डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर नॉन कॉन्टैक्ट सेंसर अब मूविंग फर्दर टू आवर टुडेस टॉपिक थर्मल इमेजिंग कैमरा uh first of all we will just discuss about the basics of thermography what thermography means uh infrared waves uh, which are infrared light uh, are a part of electromagnetic spectrum uh, the human uh, the infrared waves are not visible to human eye but it also emits heat and can detect as a heat all object emit infrared radiation and this is the basic terminology which is used for the detection of uh, detection in thermal camera Uh, as you can see in the picture there are uh, two three types of uh, waves uv infrared and microwave uh, we will discuss about the infrared waves which is further divided into four types nir near infrared swir short wave infrared mwir medium wave infrared and lwir which is long wave infrared uh the thermal imaging camera works on the lwir range which is 8 microns to 14 microns This is a thermal image. Uh, the thermal imaging gives a clear view of coldness and hotness of any object. Uh, we cannot uh, identify the heat map of any object by the use of visual camera. Uh, for that, we need thermal evaluation of the product or surface. Uh, the thermal imaging works in day and night both the time. how does thermal camera work all objects emit infrared energy which is known as heat signature and infrared uh, camera detects that heat signature of the infrared energy and then transfer that data to an electronic image or video that can further be used as a real time display of that of the surface temperature of that object predictive maintenance as it is always said that precaution is always better than cure uh that is the predictive maintenance is the most common technique used to detect various signs anomalies and equipment performance issues according to the current situation many companies are using predictive maintenance so that uh, they do not face any issues and plan unnecessary cost of action moving further to our product ranges of thermal imaging camera Uh, first of all i will just explain what we do uh, we have a microbolometer sensor and uh, once the ir radiation falls on the microbolometer sensor uh, the sensor will capture the uh, infrared signal and then after amplifying and signal processing there will be a real time display of the thermal image uh, ecoft has the edge in developing product in many fields such as uh, defense medical sector etc these are uh, our thermal camera thermcam series with thermcam 80 this is our lowest resolution camera which can be a, a modern best modern day alternative for spot temperature measurement uh, it can provide each pixel temperature with an optical resolution of 80 by 80 pixels and temperature range of minus 20 degree celsius to 120 degree celsius and 100 degree celsius to 1000 degree celsius this is our standard range which is switchable by software and other ranges are also available as per customer requirement and application uh, it has a basic feature of direct analog and digital output with one analog 4 to 20 milliampere and one ttl output moving further this is our thermcam 160 which has same features as thermcam 80 only the resolution is higher it is a medium resolution camera from our side which is 160 by 120 pixels with a wide temperature measurement range it has also the same feature of one analog and one ttl output this is our thermcam 384 which is the best balance between image clarity and data transfer rate uh, because it has the best resolution of 384 by 288 pixels and the temperature range is same but can be differ according to your application 
this is our highest resolution camera from cam 640 or uh, this uh, this is the 640 by 480 resolution camera and also the same temperature ranges can differ according to application this is thermo cam hd hd refers to high temperature camera as you can see the temperature range of this camera is 700 degree celsius to 1800 degree celsius uh, and uh, this uh, works on the wavelength of 0.85 to 1.1 which is a swir range uh this is the basic uh, layout of our system configuration uh, you can see our thermal camera works on ethernet cable uh, the ethernet cable will be then uh, supported by network switches which can be then connected to our io module which can be used for digital and analog outputs such as plc scada alarm alerts and digital indicators along with we will provide ecox infraview software which is the uh, dedicated software for industrial thermal camera users this is the autonomous mode in thermcam 80 and thermcam 160 as i have already uh, told you before that uh, we have an uh, direct feature of one analog and one digital output you just have to configure the camera to the pc by only one time and then it can directly provide us with the digital and analog output Uh, along with the cameras we have multiple lens options also as you can see we have already uh, discussed some of the lenses such as 3.6 8.5 13 15 19 etc uh, according to the uh, object size and the distance between camera and the object we will suggest you the best lens which can cover the whole area and will provide you with the minimum spot size uh let us move towards our industrial solutions uh, where we can serve our uh, thermal products and uh, this is parkview system uh, which is dedicated to substation hotspot monitoring system uh, in substation there are many several electrical equipment such as current transformers power transformers etc uh, which can generate hotspot due to high voltage current uh this can cause the breakdown of entire substation by using our sparkle system we can get early alerts of the hotspot generated and can prevent the blackout or power cut of condition uh, these are the components of our uh, sparkle system uh, with one pan and tilt system and thermal imaging camera with plus one visual camera thermal imaging camera can be of 384 by 288 uh, pixels or 640 by 480 pixels along with this we will also provide you with parkview software which is the feature of uh, real time display with one thermal and one visual image along with the reporting software which has dashboard and thermography analytics for future analytics of temperature data moving further these are the features of parkview system uh, we have 128 presets with up to 50 roi per stop Uh, we also have the analysis reporting and data archiving for multiple system one sparkview system can connect up to eight sparkview uh, so this means the software will accommodate eight visual plus eight thermal cameras roi computation is also available uh, we have software based audio visual alarm along with we also have the facility of sms email alerts we have excel export option this is the typical layout for sparkview system the sparkview will be uh, installed at a 2 to 3 meter height from the monitoring component to have a uh, clear line of sight as you can see in the image the hotspot is detected with minimum object size of 12.25 mm at 18 meters distance with 25 mm lens this is of uh, 384 resolution camera i will just show you a video of how the presets and other things works in parkview software
due to some technical errors the video is uh, not able to play i will just move further uh, this is our player view system with player stack monitoring system uh, player stack monitoring system is a 24/7 a uh, surveillance capable system which is basically installed in oil and gas petrochemical and steel industries as you can see in the uh, side layout uh, the camera is always pointed towards the chimney burner that continuously monitor the combustion of toxic gases in clear view uh, there are uh, burners and with the pilot flame uh, so monitoring of main flame as well as the pilot flame is very important for the ensure proper combustion of oils and gases uh this will also provide us with the alerts accordingly these are the components of clear view system with thermal imaging camera a uh, clear view enclosure and our software this is the video of uh, our camera pointing towards the clear view uh, mm -hmm. as you as i will uh, say you that this is a daytime video and you can see that there is a clear mm -hmm. image of the clear atta mod chinna da Uh, we have also drawn uh, different uh, ROIs to measure the correct accurate temperature of the burner as well as the flames. The three ROIs, uh, the blue is uh, for the burner. Next application is refractory healthiness monitoring system. Uh, the uh, first one is ladle surface temperature monitoring. Ladles are the large vessels which are used to transport molten metal. from one section of the industry to another section for further processes when hot metal hits the surface of the refractory uh, there are many chances of damage due to sudden change in the temperature uh, the uh, continuous processes degrades the refractory lining and outer material which has the greater chances of accidents by using our thermal camera hot spot can be detected on the surface of ladle and precautions can be taken at early stages only uh this is the typical layout of our uh, system uh we have as you can see we have installed four cameras uh camera 1 camera 2 camera 3 and camera 4 at the four directions of the ladders to cover the complete surface area and also camera 5 at the bottom to measure the bottom surface of the ladder uh the camera will be then connected with jb and with fiber optic cables then it uh, then it is connected to control room rack Uh, in the control room where all uh, display and pc with infraview software is already present uh this is a screenshot of our software with ladder uh, surface monitoring uh, as you can see the the r1 which is the roi drawn has an average maximum and minimum temperature display with an average temperature of 228.7 degree celsius maximum 607.9 and minimum as 100 degrees celsius this is the surface temperature of the ladle during the operation the next one in the refractory healthiness is coke oven door surface temperature monitoring coke oven door is a uh, it's a type of door which is used to seal the coke oven chamber or uh, to maintain the control environment throughout the carbonization process the refractory lining of coke oven uh, start degrading uh, due to high temperature impact which may lead to complete depletion and uh, al also have greater chances of accident thermal monitoring of uh, coke oven door is a critical practice which is particularly aimed at maintaining efficiency and ensuring the safety of the plant the next one is gris or pellet kiln surface temperature monitoring uh, uh, as you all know industrial kilns are very large refractory line rotating drum Uh, which are commonly used in cement industry the refractory lining of uh, industrial kiln is the most important component uh, to withstand the high temperature as well as the corrosive nature which is inside the kiln the most effective method to detect the surface temperature is using thermography this some thermo detail can be used to provide a scheme for relining uh, to increase the utilization of the refractory the tundra surface temperature monitoring uh, which is same as the refractory lining uh, is, it is a type of buffer refractory line vessel which is positioned in the midst of the ladle and concrete tube 
uh, which which is used to distribute the liquid into the molds while controlling the casting speed or uh, this degrades the refractory lining and outer metal wall which may lead to complete depletion and greater chances of accident by using thermal camera uh, we can uh, detect hot spot and uh, early precautions can be taken so as to uh, reduce the chances of mishappening uh, the other one is df tour temperature monitoring blast furnace tours uh, tour is basically a nozzle type uh, component uh, through which the air is blown into the furnace these are majorly installed at the blast furnaces and thermal monitoring will help in early detection of problem uh, such as sudden drops or spikes in temperature and also helps in the efficiency of heating processes uh, this one is the layout of torpedo surface temperature monitoring as you can see we have installed uh, the thermal measure on the both sides of the temperature to measure the surface temperature more accurately moving further we have die temperature monitoring uh, the die temperature monitoring uh, in die casting process the molten metal is first forced into the mold cavity uh, with very high pressure surface monitoring of dies during this process is very important uh, to measure the uniform temperature uh, after as well as before and after of each casting not only this but thermal monitoring will, will also help in the uh, in increase uh, increasing the die lifespan reduce maintenance cost and also stabilizes the production process it will also save the time sinter bed discharge monitoring uh, when sinter is discharging from the sinter bed conveyor it is very important to measure the layer thickness as the temperature of the sinter will be more than the ambient temperature uh, and due to this temperature difference thermal camera can easily provide a clear image and temperature reading of the sinter fan a uh, same as sinter exhaust cut fan temperature monitoring uh, exhaust system is used to exit out the gases released by the sinter layers during the process uh, this exhaust system consists of an id fan propeller and duct which lead to a stack the leaking out of oil uh, during the process as oil drips down in the oil sump and sometimes it also starts leaking out uh, it can cause accidents like fire as the ambient temperature is very high ranges between 90 degree to 120 degree celsius and at the condition of 120 degree celsius oil can easily catch its fire and can cause blast situation and the other major uh, uh, application is mold moisture detection uh, during the molding of aluminum casting there is the unwanted presence of moisture after the preheating process of the mold some water droplets can leave after the preheating process also to uh, manage this moisture control uh, it is very important to uh, to increase the quality of the casting uh, ecox thermal camera can be the best solution to inspect the temperature of the mold after the preheating process as it provides continuous monitoring and also the large panel area for temperature measurement Uh, not only industries a uh, thermal camera can be a, a good option in the r&d side also uh, such as such as this pcb testing uh, thermal monitoring of pcb testing during production is very crucial an element to ensure the reliability and also the quality of the electronic devices a uh, thermal camera can be used to spot ps pcb faults and it will easily detect the temperature difference across their field of view Uh, let us uh, move towards the early fire detection application early fire detection in clinker pellet or coal conveyor uh, while carrying these material uh, as uh, they, there is a high chance of sudden combustion as they are very overheated bearing or rollers a conveyor belt fire spreads very quickly and can cause high damage to equipment it is very necessary to monitor the conveyor belt in an efficient manner uh, so as to reduce the operational background Uh, the early fire detection in coal yard a uh, fire accident in coal yard uh, is a very serious condition uh, as the combustible nature of coal uh, can cause a very vast fire accident the major factors are igni self ignition sources or hot weather conditions poor storage conditions etc 
uh, using thermal cameras for early fire detection uh, can be a very highly effective method as they have the ability to detect abnormal heat signatures once the heat is uh, uh, as we can uh, detect early fire we can uh, provide fire prevention efforts and overall safety and operational efficiency in industry and uh, this is a typical layout for early fire detection uh, we have installed our thermal cameras over the files to uh, monitor the complete file area as you can see there are eight files and our thermal camera will monitor with more accurately uh these are some other industrial applications from our side which includes fume stack monitoring system paper roller monitoring injection monit molding monitoring molten metal level monitoring the wax whole wax temperature monitoring early fire detection in garbage bunker also the slag detection fire or hotspot detection in server room battery warehouse monitoring cathode or anode monitoring in cell house and many more applications from our side we are really thankful to you that you took the time to attend our recent webinar